Welcome everyone. Okay. Welcome. This is saying day four. Um, and we have another host today, Sister Rita. Come welcome. Uh, but before I introduce her, I I put out a post there on Facebook, you know, just about this tragic um incidents in Nashville, I think it is Nashville. Mm -hmm. Um it I mean, how do you explain that? I have no explanation. I have no um answers to questions that people would ask. There's so many questions that, that would pop up. Mm -hmm. But I put out there and said, look, all I know is I know someone. I know someone. Mm -hmm. And that's really what, you know, Christianity is about. It's not a religion. And when we take it as a religion, we will be missing it totally. Yeah. It's about this person that I know and I trust. Mm -hmm. And and I just put my life and the lives of my children in his hands mm -hmm. and yeah. trust that he will watch over them. Trust mm -hmm. that everything will be fine because trust is a very, very important element in any relationship, mm -hmm. especially yeah. in a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. um, so he's that person, the person of Jesus, person of the father person of the holy spirit and then they have angels uh -huh. that go on assignment and, and i've asked people I've, I've heard people ask you know why didn't god stop this why didn't god and i said he's god he's not your messenger uh -huh. he's not your servant he's god but he has servants that have been assigned to us, that have been assigned to our children. But guess what? These servants that we call angels, mm. and they are angels, they need instructions, just like every servant you have. Servants need instruction. They wait for instructions. Mm -hmm. And the instructions that God has given us is his word. And you and I would need to put those words in our mouth every single day to assign those angels, to tell those angels what they need to do. They need to hear the words of God from our mouth. And that's the power we've been given. Mm -hmm. and there's more to say about that, but I'm, I'm just going to end you know, on, on this shooting to say we commiserate with the parents. It's, it, it's unimaginable for any parent, any mother, mm -hmm. a child. So we, we, we pray that the Lord will comfort them, that Amen. he will bring them peace, that he will answer their questions because we have no answer. Yes. And we pray that those in government, those in positions of leadership will do the right thing and protect yes. our children. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Having said that, I want to go ahead and introduce our uh, today's. Um, perhaps I should pause this. Give me a minute to pause this music. I, I think it's getting the way. Or can you hear me still with the music? Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. yeah we can, we can't actually hear any music. We can only hear. Oh, you me. can't hear the music. Okay, so it's just me. The music in the in the uh, in the book. Okay. So I I just wanted to say a quick introduction about today's um, host, presenter. She's a member of our Inner Caucus group. So we have a larger group we call Moms Raising Leaders. And out of that, we have a few of us that are leading, you know, everything that we do that help. And I mentioned before, help put together this book, this flip book, right? Her name is Mrs. Furu Welly, we called one another sisters or moms raising leaders. So whether you're a missus or you're a doctor or you're a pastor or you're, we come on the same level and just call one another six sisters. So whether you're 60 or you're 30, it doesn't matter. We're all sisters. And between us, we probably have more than a hundred years experience of parenting. 
you know. Amen. <laughs> well, we put all of that together because this particular woman has raised four, five adult children, yes, all right. graduates, you know, <laughs> and are all doing excellently to the glory of God. So we borrow from that kind of experience, wealth of experience, and there are younger ones in our midst, you know, who learn from some of us older. There are older ones as well, some grandmoms. So um, I'm really pleased to have Mrs. Furu here. One last thing I'll say before I yield to her is to say there's a scripture that, you know, I received today, mm. Matthew 18, 19, just to stress what we do in Moms Raising Leaders. And mm. that scripture says, if two or more shall come together and agree mm -hmm. on anything, anything, it shall be done for them. And I want to stress the fact that that's what we do. We're more than two. But more mm -hmm. importantly, we agree as mothers. We realize that, as they say, it takes a village. So that's our village. Moms Raising mm -hmm. Leaders is our village. And I invite yeah. you to join this village because we realize that I yeah. can't raise my children by myself. Mm -hmm. Sister Furo can't. But when we come together, when we band together, mm -hmm. we become very powerful. Mm -hmm. And God begins to work miracles through us for our children, mm -hmm. for the children associated with us, for even children that we do not know. All right, so that's our village, and Mrs. Furuweli is one of our sisters in this village we call Moms Raising Leaders. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm glad to yield to her now to lead us into today's um, declaration. Mr. Furu, welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, CL. Uh, thank you so much, CL. Um, I want to especially welcome everyone to this uh, declaration. It's our fourth day. Uh, declaration of uh, say it. Uh, you're very welcome to our, our new members, to our new uh, our guests. Yes, and hopefully you all be our members later. You're very welcome, and to the moms of prison leaders, you're very welcome. So um, we are very conscious of time. This is going to be for just 15 minutes. So I'll quickly say an opening prayer, and we'll go into the declaration. So um, the, it's a, just, it, sorry. Then we need to get the, um, I think we had it, but I seem to have lost it. Let me get back in there. Okay. I'll share okay. the, um, the scripture, the page for today. For today. Bear with me, everyone. It's okay. in the background. So you're That's very well. Some, so, uh, yeah. We're just yeah. here to declare God's words to him, you know, uh, prophetically. And our God is faithful. Uh, this was from our lips right to God's own ears and he's a faithful God and he will hear us in Jesus name so you're very welcome amen in the meantime please tell us where you're joining us from we're just curious not that it's yeah. necessary we're just curious you just want to know what our reach is like yeah, yeah. so uh, you can put that in type that in in the chat so that we'll know where you're joining from please type it into the yeah so you're very welcome. I think welcome. this is it. So I think I have to start. Uh, let's start with an opening prayer now, please. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Our Father and our God, we give you glory and adoration, O God, for this day, O Lord. Day of our prophetic declaration. We thank you, Lord, because we've come as mothers, Lord. We've come as sisters, Lord, to speak your word and to declare life of our children. Thank you for being so faithful, Lord. We ask that, Lord, that all these declarations are to the last day, oh God, even henceforth, Lord, will ascend the throne of grace, Lord, and that these words will accomplish the purpose for out in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Um, before we go into the declaration, I just want to quickly read the scripture today. And the scripture for Day is taken from Psalm 121, uh, from verses 7 and 8. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. I'm reading from the New Version. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forever. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Uh, before we go into our declaration, I'll just like to share some thoughts concerning these scriptural verses. You know, as mothers, um, we usually worry about so many things. Uh, you know, like if you're in Nigeria or you're in the US and your child is somewhere else, you just keep worrying. We just don't stop worrying. But this scripture is encouraging us to just trust the Lord, to know that the Lord will preserve our children, that the Lord will keep them, the Lord will protect them. You know, so when you worry over things uh, that you have no control over, um, you're just, you know, all you're doing is producing a false sense of power, which denies the real power. So um, that you could bring into the situation and that real power is the power of the Holy Spirit. That real power is Christ, that real power is our God. But when we keep worried, it, you know, it's as it, it, it seems as if, oh, it's something we can handle ourselves, but the truth mm -hmm. is, we're about this things so we should just learn to let them rest in the world you know worry tells your mind you know that you must do something that you must do something but worry only gives back to fear the bible says that god had not given us the spirit of fear but of love and a sound mind but what does worry does? What does anxiety do? It makes us worry. It makes us become afraid of things that we really have no control over. But when we now hand over our worry and surrender our worry, I, sometimes I call it turning our praise and thanksgiving. When we turn our worries and anxiety into praise and thanksgiving and leave it at the feet of Christ, guess what happens? You know, fear now turns into joy. And it is with that joy that we receive the power to overcome. And that's what the Lord had given us, the power to overcome, the power to be victorious over every situation. So it is with joy. So now think of worry, also think of as a loss of your power and joy as your garb of power. You know, garb is like a garment, something you just wear. So their sisters, their moms, Bridging us all to put on our garb today. But therein lies our strength for the fight. Because we're at war. There's no doubt about it. A lot is happening in the world. Before some of you joined, CL had just said something about the killings that just happened somewhere in the US yesterday. I mean, we are talking about a Christian school, a child that was raised in a vegetarian private school and then went back to that same school to kill. May God help us in Jesus' name as we surrender all our anxiety and all our worry to the Lord and trust that the Lord will take care of them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Don't have a declaration. So you say the declaration after me will be twice. Then after Amen. doing it twice, we'll all be muted and now call our children over those declarations, one after the other. Then after that, we'll unmute and then. Uh, 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 and uh, make declaration for the kingdom children, for our children's friends, and all the children that are connected to us. Just go after me, sisters and moms. My child. My, my child. child. The, my Lord child. Is, the Lord keeps you the from Lord all keeps you. and I want us to go. I want to go. I want to say it first, say it after me, so that I be very clear, please. Let's do that with my child. My, my child. My child. child. Oh. Lift you from all harm. The Lord lifts you from all harm. He watches over your life. He watches over your life. He guides and protects you going out and your coming day. And every day of your life, and every day of your life, and every day of your life, and every day every one of us to remain muted, please. And then when we remain muted, we'll declare this uh, scripture over the rest of the 
children, please call your child one at a time and make this declaration. Then after that, we'll unmute and declare it over the kingdom children, our children's friends and children that are connected to us. Please, let's all remain muted, please. That's we. Amen, 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 amen. We are going to make this declaration over the kingdom children, over the orphans, over our children's friends, because there are some orphans that don't even have to pray for them. So we are going to make this declaration over our children as well. We are going to make it over our, our friends' children, because whatever bothers our children or whatever uh, bothers their friends really affects our children as well and we are going to make it over our spiritual children that are connected to us family. now let's begin to make this declaration over our children uh, my my child now this my is over. children if god keeps you yes children Lord keeps you from all harm. Lord keeps you from all harm. Lord keeps you from all harm. Guys are protecting you. Every day of your life. 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 Every day of
Amen. Thank you all for coming. Still, do Jesus. Well, be, before we go, yes, I, I'd love to stress just one more time the fact that for those just joining us, the fact that you know when the elders say those days that it takes a village to raise a child, mm. I think it's probably more instructive now than um, than it was then. Because they had their village anyway. But now mm. the villages are disappearing. But we're mm. saying we are creating virtual villages. Mm. We have a virtual village here called Moms Raising Leader. mm. Leaders. Our mission I'm not sure. is mm. to not to rest until Christ is found in our children. Amen. That is the mission of moms raising leaders. We have one mission, that one mission. It manifests mm. and will manifest in different ways in the lives of our children, depending on what stage they are at. But that is the mission, that Christ is formed in our children. Christ is a personality. Mm. Because Paul says, put on Christ is a personality. Yeah. And our mission is to see that he is formed in each of our children. So I want to invite you, if you're not a yeah. member yet, join yeah. us. We're a village and we watch out for each other's children in the spirit. We don't know some of our children, but we're there in the spirit, yeah. watching out for each of our children. So I want yeah. to thank you again, Sister Furo. Sister Furo has a school in Port Harcourt. For those of us in Port Harcourt, if I were having children now, I'll probably be registering in her school. <laughs> <laughs> but for those of us still in that business, still having children or who have younger children, please hit her up. Um, Safro, do you want to put your link on Facebook or something? Um, yes, I will. Yes, uh, and, and hit her up. She is a doctor. Like I said earlier, we don't use titles in Mons Raising Leaders because we're sisters. But Sister Furo has a doctorate in education. And so she's an education expert, uh, besides the fact that she's an incredible mom of five adult children. So thank you again, Sister Fu, for leading us today. Bless uh, the Lord. Thank, thank, thank God. you, sisters. Well, God bless welcome. you. Thanks for she showing up. Day four thank today, you. please don't miss day five. You see how day four was very instructive. We didn't know anything happened yesterday, but these mm -hmm. words have been incubated. So please come, let's join together, let's band together and speak mm. words of power of our children. Thank you so much. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much for the Thanks for coming. Thank, Thank you. 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 Thank you.